This is the last clip on vector journeys and vector diagrams. We're using the, the Pegasus questions here. This is applicable to National 5 and also to higher. Right, let's go ahead and we'll do two questions. We'll do this one here, question 3 and question 4, and that'll be us finished with uh, this series of videos. Let's go ahead and do part A. So part A we're looking at uh, expressing in terms of P and Q. So there's P, there's Q. So we have to look at the vector AB. So for the vector AB, let's see, to go from A to B, what I could do is uh, an alternative route where I would know the vectors would be AO and OB. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to use vector AO plus OB. Okay. Substituting in for the vectors, so that will be in the opposite direction of Q, so that will be minus Q, and that will be plus 2P, the vector that's there. So simply that would be 2P minus Q, if I just reverse them round there. Right, let's look at part B. We'll be looking at the vector AF. Right, so AF, let's see, if I look at AF, I know that this line here, the AB line is split into five parts, so two parts here, three parts there. So that will be two fifths of the distance AB. We've already done the, the vector AB, so let's let's work that out. So that's just two fifths of the vector AB. So two fifths of two P minus Q. That's that's our answer to that one there. Right, let's go ahead and do part C. OF is the vector that I've got to um, express in terms of P and Q. OF. O to F. So what I can do with this vector is uh, we could go from O to A and from A to F. They're, they're vectors that I know already. So I could use that or I could have gone that route there and worked out the same. But let's do go the route that we've already worked out. That will be OA plus AF. So the vector OA is the vector Q. And the vector AF is the one we've just worked out there. So that's going to be plus 2 fifths 2P minus Q. Let's multiply this out just now and uh, we'll try and simplify it. So I've got Q sitting there. I've got uh, plus 4 over 5P uh, as a vector and minus two-fifths q. What I'll do then is I'll uh, gather things up. So what I can do is I can gather q up, can't I? So I can gather the q's. So what I'll get from there is I'll get uh, 4 over 5p and from a q's we'll get, uh, so I've got q there, I've got minus two-fifths, so that'll be that's going to be 3 over 5q, and that's going to be a plus. What we'll do now is we'll go on to working out this part that's here. So what we have here is uh, if p is equal to minus 10, 5 in component form, and q is equal to 5, 5, find the components of OF, and then we'll go and find out the magnitude of it correct to one decimal place. So let's go ahead first of all and substitute into here. What we'll do is we'll substitute in uh, some of the values. First of all, what we'll do with OF is I'll uh, take out a common factor of a fifth, and from there I've got 4P, and that's going to be plus 3Q. Okay, so I'm going to use that in working out the components. So OF is going to be equal to one-fifth of four times P, and the vector P is minus 10 over 5, and that's going to be uh, plus 3 times the vector Q, which is 5 over 5. From there, what we'll go for is just uh, working this part out in here. So I've got a fifth, and that's going to be minus 40, and that's going to be 20. I'm going to add on to that, that'll be 15 and 15. Right, so let's gather these all up. So I've got a fifth of, and that's going to be minus 40 plus 15 will give me minus 25 in the x 
component and 20 plus 15 is going to be 35 y component and finally just divide that throughout by 5 so that will give me minus 5 on the top and I've got uh, 7 there on the bottom so that's my x component minus 5 and my y component would be 7 Right, we have to work out the magnitude now, so let's work out the magnitude of uh, OF and the magnitude, remember, is equal to the square root of the X component squared plus the Y component squared. What that will give me is uh, 25 plus 49, so that will give me a total of uh, square root of 74. On the calculator, just uh, root 74 is going to be equal to 8.6023 and some more characters there. Finally, if we have to give it to one decimal place, I'll round this number, which gives me 8.6 to one decimal place. And that would be that question complete. Right, we'll be looking then to, to go on to the last question, which is uh, question 4. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and we'll conclude that. Right, question 4. Express uh, in terms of A and B uh, the vector AB from this diagram here. So, A part 1. So, if I look at AB, so A to B I could go up this way here. I don't know much about the vectors there at all, but I do know the vectors that would go in this alternative route. So, let's go that way. So, I'll go from A to O first of all, and O to B next. A to O is against the vector A, so that will be negative A, and it'll be plus the vector B, going up in that direction there. So what I'd be expecting there is I've got minus A plus, plus B, and let's just tidy that up a bit, and what we can say that's going to be is B minus A. So for part two, what we're looking at is the vector AC. So vector AC is A to C is there. This line AB is split into three parts. So I've got two there and I've got one there. So that's three parts. So from A to C, it's going to be a third of the vector AB. We've already worked out AB here. So it's going to be equal to a third of the vector AB, which equals a third B minus A. On to part three. Right, part three, what we have is OC. Right, O to C is what we're trying to work out here. So let's look at an alternative route here. So what we can do is we know this vector and we know that vector there. So let's work that out, okay? So I'm going to go from O to A first of all, and I'll add on A to C. O to A, vector A plus vector AC, which is going to be a third of B minus A. So that's going to be a third B minus A. From there, what I'll do is I'll just multiply that uh, bracket out. Third B, and that'll be minus a third A. I'll uh, gather the things together that I can. So I've got A minus a third A, but leave me with two thirds A. And I've got a third B that's sitting there. B. Let's take out a common factor of a third. That'll give me 2A plus B. And that would be my answer for uh, A part 3. Now let's go on to B. Right, if M is the midpoint of OC, okay, show that vector AM is equal to a sixth B minus two thirds A, which is equal to a sixth, and that's going to be B minus four A. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go for that one. So we're interested in the vector AM to start with. So the vector AM. So for AM, what I can do is I can go along the uh, AM, I can go along, let's go from A to O, and from O to M. So there's a route that I could go. Okay, I've already worked out the vector OC, so I can use that in the calculations that I'm going to do next. Right, so we're going to go A to O, 
and then O to M. So that's the alternative route I'm going to go. So A to O is, uh, I'll just leave that as it is. And what we'll do is I'll substitute in here, that's going to be a half because that's a midpoint. So the line is split into two parts. One part over two, so that'll be a half of OC. Right, the vector um, AO is going to be negative A, going in the opposite direction. And here what we've got is we've got plus a half of, and OC is a third of 2A plus B. So that's going to be a third of 2A plus B. Right, let's uh, let's multiply this, this all out on the right hand side and we'll, we'll get that. So I've got uh, minus A as the vector here, I've got plus and that's going to be 1 sixth and I've got a bracket still 2A plus B. Just take it at each stage at a time. I've got minus A here, I've got uh, plus 2 over 6A and I've got plus 1 over 6B there. Continue to work the, this one through. So if I look at what I have here, I've got, uh, let's see, so that's A, that's going to be 2 over 6A. So if I add them together, that's like uh, minus 6 over 6. So that'll be minus 4 over 6A. And I've still got that plus a sixth B at this side here. Right, am I getting in closer to, to what we've got to work out over here? Well, Getting pretty close to it. What I could do is I could show that part there first of all. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll just swap these around. So I'll start with um, 1 over 6 over this side. And instead of 4 over 6, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just divide top and bottom by 2. That'll give me 2 over 3a. So that's going to be minus, from the minus sign, 2 over 3a. And what I've done is I've, I've got to this point here. Now what I've got to show is from there to this point here, and what we can do there is, let's see, taking a sixth out of a common factor. So I could even put it back up to that there, and that would help me by getting the 4a out of there. So what I've got is a sixth outside the bracket. What I've got is b here, and if I take a sixth out, that'll give me minus 4a in there. Okay, so remember what I could do is I could have replaced the, the two thirds there with the 4 over 6 and taken the third out and finalised that to get to the, the part that we've been asked to, to uh, prove. Right, so, so that's the, the fourth of four um, of the, the, the vector journey and the vector diagram questions. Um, hope that you've learned something from this. Good luck.